Hey, what is up guys, Klausnex here. I can assure you that the way that this whole setup is being shot is much less dramatic than it looks. I'm just gonna talk about YouTube. Started when I was a child. Basically in this video, I'm just reflecting a little bit on how it is to YouTube for how long has it been now? 10 weeks straight of full-time YouTubing. I knew when I came up here, I was gonna have a lot of free time and I could afford to make YouTube videos every day. Or I did five videos a week, so I took the weekends off. Sometimes it didn't really work out that way. Sometimes I was working ahead. Sometimes I was playing catch up. Sometimes I was sitting pretty. So it's been a whole mixed bag of experiences. So that being said, I've made 50 videos within the past, you know, month, two months and a half. And uh, you know what? I've really enjoyed making videos and I drag that video into the upload bar and you click that publish button. It's a little shot of adrenaline and it feels great. I like making videos. It's been a hobby of mine for a long time and it's been fun to kind of fully indulge myself in this hobby. It's also been a bit of a challenge for me to see if I really can make a video every day for 10 weeks. Because oftentimes when I was living in Winnipeg, I was, it was just too busy and I would just have ideas coming in and out of my head and I'd have to quickly write it down or I'd forget about it. And here I just kind of made a video with all the different ideas that came in my head. It's kind of like I've really gotten to indulge myself in a lot of ideas and a lot of things I wanted to try. This Fitness Gimmick Friday series I've wanted to do for probably a year. I just couldn't commit every Friday to it for a long time. So I'm really excited that I got to commit to that. Um, it's something that I wanted to do. There's also been like a list of videos that I've had written down as ideas that I've wanted to do for, pro again, probably a couple years. And I didn't get the chance to do that until now. So that's been super great. And now the way that it is with YouTube is that you make a video and that video obviously doesn't blow up within the first day you drop it, unless you have like 3 million subscribers. But my videos take time to grow. So the way that I look at it is like I'm planting seeds. Every time I drop a video, it might be a miss, it might be a hit, but I won't know it's a hit for probably half a year to a full year before it starts to pick up a bit of speed. It takes a long time for these videos to grow, so it requires a lot of patience, and I'm not gonna lie, there were multiple times as I was doing this that I wanted to quit because I'm like, why am I even doing this? These videos are not getting barely any views, but I have to remind myself that YouTubing sometimes, if you're trying to grow your channel, it's a patience game, right? So the way that I look at it is that I've had the chance over the past 10 weeks to plant 50 seeds. So if any, if even like two of those seeds grow into anything close to what my chicken video was, I'll be sitting pretty. Also, loss of uploads really plays into the YouTube algorithm. They want you to upload as much as possible if you're gonna have any chance in hell of showing up in other people's recommended. So I've really been trying to play into that algorithm by uploading as frequently as possible. Hopefully YouTube favors me. The other part of the algorithm that I can't control is whether people subscribe to me and whether they watch the whole video because that watch time really makes a big difference. If you only watch 10 seconds of the video, thanks for the view, but the algorithm doesn't really favor that anymore. It used to favor views and then we had the time of clickbaiting and misleading thumbnails, you know, that era's passed. Now it's more, you wanna watch the whole thing. Then YouTube's like, okay, this guy's serious. Well, maybe, we'll maybe share him around. And then on the flip side, it's also been very exhausting to make so many different YouTube videos. It's been sometimes challenging to come up with unique ideas that I think are actually good contributions to the fitness community that haven't been done and beaten to death like 100,000 times. So I've tried to provide my own kind of angle into things. Um, I've tried to use unique original ideas. Sometimes I tap into what's already been done, but I use my own opinions, stuff like that. That being said, my brain's a little bit fried, and if I have to upload one more YouTube video on this Churchill Wi-Fi up here in the north, I'm gonna lose it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and I'm gonna stop pumping out as much content as I can. I'm gonna try and maybe take a little bit more time into the videos that I do wanna upload. I could really only do that for my Fitness Gimmick Friday videos, which I still plan on actually continuing, it might not be every Friday, but keep an eye out on Fridays. You never know when I'm gonna drop one. And just before I wrap up this video, just to talk about the Fitness Gimmick Friday, I love doing them. This is something that I think I could potentially grow my channel from, but it is hard to come up with these ideas. And keep in mind that before I started Fitness Gimmick Friday, I put out a ton of videos exposing different kinds of health scams. I already did an entire series called Lies of the Fitness Industry, which easily could have each been their own Fitness Gimmick Friday. I did, you know, I've done a lot of stuff, so go check out my channel if you want to see more of that type of content, more 
critiquing type stuff. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Klaus next up.